Good morning, y'all, and grab your coffee. We have to get so much done today. We're not gonna be staying home and cleaning all day, thank God, but I had errands to run. Oliver needed a haircut. We're gonna do a massive grocery haul. We're gonna be planning Oliver's birthday and all of the things, but first things first, I wanted to make up my bed. That always makes me feel so much more productive for the day. We're gonna open up those blinds and let the sun shine in. And by the way, today's video is sponsored by Little Words Project, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love their products and I cannot wait to tell you about them here in just a little bit. Oliver asked to put his sandals on. Don't ask me why, so jammies and sandals it is for right now. But let's go ahead and get this day started. Right. Today's outfit of the day is actually from Shein and I love this. I don't know if you say Shein or Shein, but I think it's so cute and it was so cheap. I think it was like eight or ten dollars and it's color block in the back too. So cute and I just paired it with some sandals. It's going to be kind of warm today. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. We've got to get a lot of stuff done. We're headed right now to go get Oliver's haircut. He is going to try out a new little haircut and I'm so excited. It's that mix between like a mohawk and a mullet where it goes all the way down the back, but it's like a short version so cute so i can't wait to see how that looks and then right next to his little hair cutting place there's a really cute little baby boutique so i'm gonna run in there and see if we can find anything cute for oliver but really i need to get groceries today i need to stock our pantry clean out our fridge i'm gonna be making a really yummy dinner tonight and i need to plan oliver's birthday party and get some things ordered for that so we're kind of running around like a chicken with our head cut off today and getting a bunch of stuff done but i am obsessed with this dress y'all you need this dress it was eight dollars and ninety nine cents off of Shein, Shein, Shein. And so I'm gonna link it below for y'all. It's so cute. It's not too short, which I love. I'm gonna be able to wear it to church. And at first when I got it, I thought it was gonna be see-through, but it's not. So love it so much. It's so cute and casual. You can wear it wherever. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I think we're gonna go get some Chick-fil-A real quick. I was gonna go get some coffee from Starbucks, but we are already, it's almost like 11 o'clock now and we're hungry. We don't have any coffee at the house, so I have no caffeine in my system. I'll probably get a large Diet Coke, but let's go get some Chick-fil-A and then we'll get this show on the road. Are you ready for your haircut? Goodness, we need a car wash so bad. Okay, we got our Cobb salad with buffalo and ranch from Chick-fil-A and I got Oliver some chicken nuggets and french fries and here's a little mom hack for you. If you have a toddler that's not great at eating in the back seat yet, which he is really good at eating in the back seat without making a mess usually, but I just put everything inside this little box. I give him a couple chicken nuggets, a couple french fries with his little ketchup and he does such a good job. I just gotta hope and pray I don't get this all over my dress now. Okay, Chick-fil-A Cobb salad, best thing on the menu. Tell me I'm wrong. It's so good with some buffalo and ranch. What is that? Uh, 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 blue. It's blue? Is it a puzzle? Yes. Okay, before we head in, I wanted to show you all these little bracelets that I'm wearing today. They are so dainty and pretty. And one of them says Ollie's mom, one of them says boy mom, and one of them says mama. And I love this little stack. I'm going to go and get some more bracelets to add to this. But I love this company so much. It's a company called Little Words Project. And it was started by a girl who was being bullied. I believe she was in college. And she started creating bracelets that have words of affirmation. So you can get them to say be brave or stay positive. You can have them say just about anything. Thing. If you go to their website, they already have a bunch of pre-made beautiful bracelets and not only is the like the message so cool behind it, it's a company founded on kindness, which is so important in today's world, but also their product is genuinely such good quality. These bracelets, I pulled them really hard, which I probably shouldn't have, but they're really good quality. The beading is absolutely beautiful and so dainty. They're beautiful stacked. You can wear them alone with like an Apple watch and they just look pretty no matter what. So I'm going to have their link below. Below. They have a great discount code for y'all today. 10 years and millions of bracelets later, the Little Words Project community is living proof that kindness is a superpower. Their handcrafted bracelets are made to be worn, loved, and shared. Wear your Little Word bracelet and then pass it to someone who needs it more. Together with their community, they've donated over 650000 to incredible causes, including cancer prevention. I love that they have the custom option. I am obsessed with these bracelets now, and I cannot wait to place my next order. I have worn them every single day since I got them. And right now, you can get 15% off plus free shipping on orders over $75. When you use my code Lauren Y, these would make amazing Christmas presents, birthday presents, 
weekend. All of the holidays are coming up. Just use my code Lauren Y and the link below at checkout and receive 15% off Little Words Project Bracelets. This offer is available for new and existing customers. Their mission is passing kindness on one bracelet at a time, so I can't think of a better company to support right now. Thank you so much to Little Words Project for sponsoring today's video. Okay, we just got home from the store. Oliver got some new boots. Can you show him your new boots? Hi. Can you stomp around in them? Yeesh. Yeesh. <laughs> so cute. I love them. We're going to unload all these groceries and then we're going to start some dinner. I was not expecting that to take so long, but it's 6 o'clock. Okay, we got our groceries unloaded. I've got to put these away real quick and make some dinner, but I wanted to share this because we got some fun things this week. I picked up some Method Body for body wash. I love this stuff. It's peony, rose water, and pink salt. Picked up a lavender loofah and got my Acne Control St. Ives apricot scrub. This is my favorite. I've used it for years. Oliver begged for bananas, so we got those. I had to get a new brush because my brush broke, so we got that. I got some ghost cookies. I plan to do a little craft with those soon. And then I picked some Hershey's bars up for our s'mores, but then these were sitting there and I was like, okay, those look so good. So I had to get those too. I think that'll be fun to have in the pantry. Got some tortillas. We're always wanting to make some breakfast burritos. And when we don't have tortillas, it is so depressing in the morning. It's kind of like waking up to no coffee. It's sad. So we got some tortillas. I got a bunch of chicken breasts for different meals this week. Got a gallon of milk. Some milk bones for Opie. <laughs> a lot of y'all have been asking lately, do you still have Opie? Yes, we do. He's in a lot of my videos, but you have to kind of like look for him. He pops in and out. But he loves these little mini milk bones. Also picked up some sweet potatoes and some chopped romaine. I'm going to be doing a really fun fall salad soon. I know I keep saying that. I haven't had the time to do it yet, but I'm excited. It looks so delicious. I've been really into chopped salads lately. Got some string cheese for Oliver, some cherry tomatoes for my cob salads. Got a classic thing of white bread, some eggs, and then this is for our dinner tonight. We're going to make some sliders and I wasn't really wanting the sweet Hawaiian sliders. I didn't want it to be super sweet. I'm going to show you here in just a second what we're going to do, but I wanted the butter sliders. So these are really good, the Pepperidge Farm Circle butter sliders. And then I got some jalapenos sliced, some apples. Oliver loves the Honeycrisp apples. Oliver also loves Bunny Tracks ice cream, so we had to get some more of that. Got some beef for probably spaghetti this week, some bacon for breakfast, some purple onion for various meals and some salted butter. We love this salted butter. I also picked up some French toast sticks. We like the original, not the cinnamon. I'm not a huge cinnamon person. And then I picked up this for me. It's the strawberry honey bunches of oats and Oliver requested the Lucky Charms. I also picked up a couple avocados. The other one's floating around here somewhere for avocado toast. And then as for Oliver's snacks this week, I wanted to pick him up some Ritz Bits and then also some little mini muffins. If we're in a hurry, he loves these for breakfast. And then some little soft baked cookies. And then we also picked up some sour cream and onion chips that we already got into. If you know Oliver, you know he opens everything in my cart before I can even get to the checkout. We got some more wipes and diapers. I'll show you the diapers here in a second. Um, got some unsweetened applesauce. This is one of Oliver's favorite snacks and it's healthy, so win-win. Got some pecans. We're going to be making some salads this week, like I said, and I like to put pecans in my salad. And if you watched a couple weeks back, we made some, what are they called? Candied pecans, and they were so good. So we'll probably do some more of those. Picked up some Prego for spaghetti. This is our favorite spaghetti sauce. We've tried the Rouse. We've tried all of the fancier spaghetti sauces, and this is the one we always go back to. Got some peanut butter, and then I also picked up some little mini cans of Fresca. I love this stuff, but I usually don't drink a whole can, so that's perfect. Got some more iced coffee. Y'all know I really like the Busy iced coffee, but they don't sell it at my Walmart, so I always have to get this, and this is pretty good too, so. 
Got some penne pasta for our spaghetti this week. I think I'm gonna do the penne this week instead of regular spaghetti. Will likes this, and normally I do the regular spaghetti, so it'll be a nice little change. Got some more goat cheese. Y'all know I go through this like crazy on my salads and stuff. Got a bell pepper for various recipes. There's my other avocado. This was fun, I picked this up for Oliver. He loves PB&J, and I saw this in the snack section. It's got like a jelly dip, and it's like a peanut butter stick, and I think he'll love that. He loves PB&J. And then also, I picked up my mascara. This is the mascara I always get. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous, just the regular one. And then also, this is the concealer I always get. It's the Almay clear complexion concealer and I got some more makeup wipes. I've never got this before. It's just the Equate fragrance free. So I think they're just basic makeup wipes. Got a ton of apple juice for Oliver. He loves apple juice. And then got some more laundry detergent. We like the powder gain. And this is what I wanted to tell you all about. So my sister told me the Rascal and Friends diapers are incredible. So we got a big box of those. He's in a size seven, my big old baby. And they are supposed to be really good. So I'll let y'all know that we're going to try those out this week. I got him some more kids wash. I'm going to have to put all this away real quick and then we're going to start our dinner. anything better than a pantry stocked with snacks. We have been out of Oliver's snacks for a while now. We've just been giving him random things. So it felt really good to get that all stocked up. And honestly, I'm not very, I don't really take a whole lot of pride in my organization systems in our house. I keep them pretty organized, but they're not like fancy or anything. But our pantry has done so well with the organization system we did last year. We just got a can organizer organizer. We got a can organizer and then a bunch of these clear bins and I labeled them with snacks, bread, cooking, baking, and this has kept us so organized and so we're loving that system. We're going to go ahead and stock all of these buckets, our cereal, our noodles, and here in a second I will show you our pantry. Say you love me back. Yes, I fell in love with you and tried my We are we're stocked we're not fancy but we're organized and it felt so good to have that all done we also stocked up the fridge I don't ever share me organizing my fridge because we have the like the tiny little doors where you open them up and when you put your arm in you can't even see in the fridge the camera just it's not it doesn't work so hopefully soon we'll get a new fridge but now we're moving on to dinner it was getting so late I'm gonna make some chicken and bacon ranch sliders this sounded so good to me because y'all know already I love subway sandwiches and their chicken bacon ranch is one of the best especially if you add a little buffalo Ooh, I should have done that on this night but I didn't a little buffalo and ranch so good um, but Will does not like ranch. So I left the ranch off of his side and then later on when he took a bite, he accidentally bit one with ranch and he loved it. So I'm like, what the heck? I feel like he just needs to branch out a little bit. But anyways, we just added some onions and jalapenos, um, provolone cheese, and we're gonna melt some butter on the top with a little bit of parsley. I'm just gonna throw them in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. These were delicious. Will raved about them, I loved them. Oliver just had some chicken nuggets. And we just served these with some sour cream and onion chips, and this was such an easy and delicious dinner. Okay, it's the next morning. I made myself an iced coffee, and I wanna share with y'all what we found at Target yesterday. I kind of like just went through the motions yesterday. We had to get his hair cut. I needed groceries. We ran to Target. And by the end of the day when we got home, it was so late. We ate dinner at like 8 o'clock. And so I was like, well, I'll just finish tomorrow. So I'm going to share with you what we found at Target. I needed to get Oliver some new clothes. And then here in a second, I'm going to share with you how I'm planning Oliver's second birthday party. I am so excited to get planning. I haven't done much of anything yet because there's so much going on right now. But anyways, yesterday at Target, I went to the baby clothes section. I haven't been to Target in a really long time, at least not for baby clothes. I might've run in here and there, but 
I was on the hunt for all of her some new clothes and I don't know whether to shop in like the little boy section or the baby section now because he's kind of in between. He's in a 4T. I picked up these little knit waffle pants and I thought those were so cute. They have a little butt pocket and two little pockets in the front. Oliver is all about some pockets right now. He loves to put stuff in his pockets. I thought those were so so cute these were $14 I got him a 3t because they didn't have a 4t and right now he still kind of fits into 3t so those will be good for fall and then <clears throat> I found this cute little shirt it says official cookie tester and I thought that was perfect for fall leading into the Christmas season and that'll look really cute with those little waffle pants and that was six dollars so cute and then originally before I found this shirt I saw this little um, pullover. It's got a little smiley face on it. And I thought that was so stinking cute. It's got a little neon zipper. And that would look really cute with these little waffle pants too. That's a cute little outfit for when it gets really chilly in the morning. He's gonna look so cute in that. And then I ran into this and I could not resist. It is so stinking cute. And they didn't have a 4T in this either, but we tried it on him and it fits him perfect. It's a 3T and it's just a cute little Sherpa plaid. I am a sucker for plaid and grid, like the grid pattern, and anytime I see it on baby clothes, I just freak out. So this was only $18, and it's super warm and cozy, so that'll be really fun for fall and leading into winter, and then I just wanted to pick up myself some new sunglasses. I feel like all of my sunglasses are kind of like out there, and I wanted something that was a little more toned down, so I picked up these, and I thought they were so cute. I'll have all this stuff linked down below, but it was just a quick little Target trip and we got some cute stuff, so that was fun. But now let's go get busy planning Oliver's birthday. Okay, so as I was doing my little haul there, they dropped this package off. This is from Amazon. And these cups were highly recommended for kids that are you know, switching from bottle to sippy cup. They don't leak, supposedly. They're supposed to be really good about not leaking. Maybe there's a little thing that goes in there, I don't know. I think there is. So it has these little things. Praise the Lord for whoever invented these things because this saves us so much cleanup. And I just dropped that other cup. But I thought these colors were so cute. There's a tan and a blue and a white and a gray. So if you have a toddler that's transitioning from bottle to sippy cup like Oliver, I will link these down below for y'all. They are so stinking cute. And they have a bunch of different color options. You get four for $19.99. And I think I'm about to go get on my Cricut and put his name on all of these. We're getting to the point now where he goes in church nursery and we can't ever find his cup. It gets mixed in with everybody else's and that's so gross. So thinking about doing like a little label right here that says Oliver really small, but how stinking cute are those? I think that is so fun and I think he's gonna love them. Okay, I came back in my office because we're about to start planning Oliver's birthday party, but I wanted to share this little template with y'all. I'm gonna link it below just in case you're planning a party too. I know a lot of y'all have said you're planning your two-year-old's party too or your three-year-old's or whatever. So this keeps you really organized. There's a place for party type, theme, date, time, venue, the menu, decorations, games and activities. You can even do a schedule. I might not go that far. Um, the party favors and any kind of notes that you need to take. And what I did is I printed three of these. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three different party options because I cannot decide what we want to do. We either want to go to like Chuck E. Cheese and just do like a really fun birthday out either at the zoo, Chuck E. Cheese, or maybe the Discovery Museum. And then I also was thinking I kind of want it at our house so I can decorate and have all the memories and the pictures and the videos and stuff. But then there's also the option that we could, well actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one for Chuck E. Cheese, one for Discovery Museum, and then I'm going to weigh my options and I'm going to talk to Will and we're going to budget and figure out which one fits our, fits us best this year basically. So. Let's go ahead and get party planning. I think the first one I'm going to do is the one at our house because that's what I would really like to do with like a bounce house and everything. Okay, my idea for the one at our house is to do it cars theme. Let me see if this will focus. I found some really cute stuff on Pinterest. There's a little stoplight balloon and I love this. So the colors and the black and white checks, that's kind of the theme that I want. And we're going to get him a blue ride-on Jeep that we can, like, use the remote control on and he can ride it. Um, so, I kind of want to keep it, like, that color blue, the really bright blue. Most of the ideas on here have the really light blue. But I'm thinking I'm going to just, you know, switch out the lighter blue for the brighter blue. thought this shirt was so cute. Too fast. Um, there's one on here where the parents have a shirt. Here it is. 
and it says pit crew mama, pit crew daddy, and I thought that was so cute. So this is kind of what I'm going off of for the one that we're going to have at our house. I love that. And we actually have a place here in Little Rock that has a black bounce house rental. And so I was thinking it'd be really cute to do a black bounce house with the black and white checkered balloons. So hopefully if we do it at our, at our house, we can reserve that little bounce house. Happen once, they always come back. What if I could throw us back to the very moment when Okay, I have to say I love this planner. So we've got the theme up here, which is cars. He loves cars right now. In fact, I'll insert footage right here of him playing with cars at that little baby boutique yesterday. He was so cute. And he's right at that stage where he's like making all the sound effects and stuff. So I think it'll be really cute to do cars. And we don't know which date we're gonna do it on yet. So I have 11 or 18. At our house, all of the menu items over here, donut tires, brownie stoplight, pretzel dipsticks, licorice, um, jumper cables, nuts and bolts, checks mix, and then down here we have notes that we need a mom and dad shirt and an Ollie shirt. We're gonna make some more notes, we're not done. Um, here in the middle for decorations, I have black and white check. So I'm looking for like banners with black and white check, balloons with black and white check, and we're also gonna add in some blue and black too. And then we need a backdrop for behind his little food table or cake table, and a balloon arch for the inside of the house that's a little bit smaller, and then hopefully one for the bounce house. I think that'd be really cute. And then a porch sign out front to welcome everybody in. I'm thinking 2 p.m. or maybe 1 p.m. for a start time. And then over here we have the games and activities. I'm thinking a bounce house, a racing station where the little boys can race all of their cars down a slope. And then we've got some cornhole that we can throw out in the backyard that the older kids can do. And then maybe some s'mores. So that's off to a great start. We're going to go ahead and plan the other parties on the other papers and kind of decide what we want to do.